come from the Midlands referee John Coyle. And there's certainly been no trouble with identifications here with sideburns and a moustache between him. You don't often see that in a championship fight. So the Southpaw from Liverpool, Tony Willis, making his first championship challenge against George Feeney of Hartlepool, who has been in with two of the best fighters in the world in his last ones. He had a good fight with Ray Mancini in an untitled fight, really surprised the champion, and then took on the number one Howard Davis of America. So it suits Feeney, I would think, to get back to the domestic scene after having the fight of the year, according to Boxing News, the trade paper with Ray Catoose in London to win the championship. Willis, Willis got quite a supporters club. He's now living in Birmingham, and the Lynch brothers who manage him have brought quite a crowd to London. So we've got a Liverpudlian with a Birmingham support, not too far from Euston Station. Scheduled for 12 rounds, British Championships, not 15. A minute gone then in the opening round. And they've sized each other up fairly well. There's no ducking and diving. They're good stand-up boxes. Feeney known for his aggression coming on late in most fights. And Willis, a technically good boxer double ABA champion, bronze medalist in the Moscow Olympics, and boxed around the world, so he gets experience mostly from the amateur rings. 13 wins as a pro, and he stopped nine of them. Oh, what a left hook! The start there, that's very unusual, not only to see Tony Willis down, but he could be counted out, can he not? He looks in a bad condition. The referees let it go on there. There's two solid punches from the champion, and he's going to stop this in the opening round. What a win for George Feeney this is. 